Welcome to the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. You are? Uh, I'm Brandon Choi. I'm the producer of After Class. And the name of the film again is After Class? Yes, correct. After, after Class. After Class. Sir? Hey, uh, my name is Charles. Charles Dong, and uh, I'm the writer-director of After Class. You're the writer-director. Sir? Hi, I'm Stefan Nachman. I'm the cinematographer. The cinematographer? Yeah. Hi, uh, I'm Alex Simcox, and I'm the composer for After Class. Wow, wonderful. Gosh, you got all the main guys. <laughs> and what's so great about this visual is you're all from somewhere else. Yeah. What a yeah. wonderful collaboration. Yeah. How did you meet each other? Who wants to tell me how you met? Looks like they're looking at you. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, we all we go to the same school in NYU, and uh, uh, the three of us, we go to Tisch, we did a film programs, and then uh, I met him through a network, and um, yeah. Wonderful. So you're the writer of this film, mm -hmm. so this was something that uh, you thought of how many years ago? Uh, about two years ago, and uh, it's a film about a single mother uh, uh, traumatized by the school registration system, and she's doing everything to put her daughter through school in China. In China? It, is this a true story? Is this something that you are very closely connected to? Uh, yes, this is a, a film that based on a true story, and uh, actually based on a social scandal a few years ago where people will, they will want to get hit by a car constant, uh, on purpose so they could scam the driver's money. And that happens in this film? Uh, yes. Oh my gosh, this is really interesting. So you are the producer, correct? Okay, what is your role in this? What do you do exactly? Uh, well, I had to, you know, find uh, production manager basically from the start. First of all, I do, I would start with development with him with the script until it's, we work to a point where it's ready and then we, you know, we, we take it to China and then go to China and set this whole production up and hire all the crew and cast and everyone, and, you know, supervise the entire shoot and the post-production and, you know, get this film here in the festival. My word, so that it was all shot in China and you're the cinematographer. So had you ever shot in China before? No, and I also have never been to China. Um, I think it's a really great experience. Um, I was the only one in the crew who couldn't speak Mandarin. Um, so it's an interesting experience communicating with crew, um, trying to trying to show what your vision is. Um, but I mean, How did you do it? Um, my gaffer, our main lighting person, uh, she could speak English. Uh, she was also based in New York at that time. Um, and then it's really just like passing down information to the crew. Um, but after some days, everybody on the crew realizes uh, what we are trying to do, what kind of film we are making, how the lighting is supposed to look. Um, and it's a really great process. I mean, like ultimately, it's a very common theme, filmmaking everywhere, in a sense, it's all about storytelling. So sure. it's all the same in the end. How was the weather? Uh, very hot and very humid. Oh, it was, um, oh, was it? Yeah, yeah. Did that help um, the story? Um, I would. <laughs> you just had, a, to have, you yeah, had to help. Yeah, we had to yeah. handle it, yeah. What part of China was this filmed in? Hey, Shenzhen, southern China. It's a city right across the river from Hong Kong. Right, right. I think I've been there. Wow, gosh. And you, sir, you had to yes. compose. Come in closer kindly. Yes, that's correct. You composed music. Did it have an Asian flair? No, we specifically avoided it having oh, an why? Asian flair why? because um, we didn't really want to have any cliches and we wanted it to kind of be at the heart of it. It's like a universal kind of emotional story so we wanted it to really connect on that level rather than it being specifically Chinese even though it is in China so well, so what was the genre of music you found appropriate um, it's quite ambient quite electronic and we have some oh, acoustic wonderful. strings and stuff a little hints of Asian influence but uh, nothing over the top so wonderful yeah. that's so interesting I'm glad you did that well. it's very cool thank you who knows when and where it's showing uh, we're showing at 720 in the Fiesta theater, theater today and 1 p.m. tomorrow. So you have to get going. Yes, we do, right after this red carpet. All right, then. <laughs> Thank you very much for taking time to speak yeah. with me and good Thank luck. You so Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.